What's up, everybody? We are back for episode 19 of Warcraft Brew. My name is Quissy. And I'm Pasta Face. And we're really excited to be back. I know it's been a couple of weeks since our last episode. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, you know, just things are very crazy and, and we're kind of in one of the uh, hot spots of it all. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, so we kind of took a step back and wanted to focus on making sure that we were going to be okay within the, the next couple of weeks or coming months. So making sure we stocked up on uh, provisions, food, water, uh, alcohol, that's a really big one. Um, so yes, yeah, so sorry, so sorry, but I, I think now we're kind of in a, a comfortable spot, so to speak, quote unquote, that uh, yeah. now we could start uh, coming on back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really been crazy. Like, you, you work from home, and you are still working from home. I know. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really thankful that my, my job is still, you know, still a 9 to 5. Um, they didn't alter my hours. They didn't, you know, pull me from full time to part time or anything like that. So I am really, really thankful. But um, it, it's, just been, it's just been a little nuts because everything, everything that we've previously done got turned on its head. All of our previous processes and protocols, they don't matter anymore. So just really what I've been doing, and it's just been driving me nuts, is helping the team just come up with a, a, a new way to conduct our business. Yeah. And that's just, I mean, you've, you've seen, it's just been driving me nuts, absolutely nuts. Yeah. Um, but hopefully it looks like things are gonna get a little bit more solidified and hopefully Knockwood calm down a little bit um, so that maybe I could start streaming a little bit more, <laughs> but. <laughs> right, and, yeah. and speaking of you streaming, mm -hmm. um, you did your very first stream a couple, right. couple days ago. You've, you've actually done two streams at this point. I have. Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, the Pasta Face over on Twitch, um, we got Shadowlands al Alpha Access. Shadowlands Alpha Access. That's that was a tongue twister. <laughs> um, and Pasta had been saying, and I'm sure I'm sure she said it on the on this podcast too. Like if we get Shadowlands Alpha Access, she's going to stream it. Right. So uh, the day of, <laughs> just kind of like threw you into the lion's den. And it was such like it was such <laughs> a rough day at work too. I was just since like 8 a.m. I want to say even before then, like people were just kind of buzzing me just you know, wanting to get my opinion or input on things. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was just going from like 8 p.m. And I went almost until like 6 p.m. that day. Just working? Yeah, yeah. just working. Mm -hmm. um, but around, I want to say 2, 3, I start seeing some tweets going out and I start hearing a little little buzz about the Shadowlands Alpha being out. I'm like, yep. that's, that's nuts. I, I'm, I'm stationed at home. I work from home, but I work in another room. So I can't. It, it sounds really messed up, but I couldn't afford actually standing up and traveling to my computer just to check. So I actually had to do it from my cell phone from, uh, what what is it, the... Uh, oh, you were using the remote desktop, right? Yeah, I was right? using the remote desktop. Yeah. So I, I was just so busy, I actually had to use the remote desktop to check mm -hmm. if I had alpha privileges. And it was there and it started downloading. And mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it worked, I was able to log in and I had to wait painfully like three four additional more hours just watching you play watching everyone else play and just be like oh my god i can't believe i can't believe i got it yeah i can't believe i got privilege privileges um i i'm just still like in shock and so giddy about it um but yeah i always said you know i i, I really messed up when i got uh special beta privileges for uh overwatch and i didn't stream that um, so I, I vowed, like, if I ever get, like, another special privilege like that again, I'm just going to stream it on my own. And hell yeah, hell yeah it happened. And I, I still I still can't believe it. So, yeah, big. it was funny because I was streaming. I was doing my normal, regular, you know, classic mm. day stream. And halfway through it is when the alpha access just appeared. Um, I was in the middle of like a, I think a Skolo Man's run, and we're up to, we we're like getting up to the last boss. I was like, okay, it's good. I'm near the end of the instance. I could check when we're done. Sure enough, it was in my BNAT launcher. <laughs> um, so those of you who are want, like still wondering about alpha access and alpha keys, quote unquote, keys don't exist anymore. It just appears in your BNAT launcher mm -hmm. if you have access. Um, now, granted, I did get an email. I think like a, like 
several hours after the fact. I did get an email, but um, you're not going to get like a key anymore. It, it doesn't work like that um, anymore with alpha and beta as far as I know. Um, but you do have to make sure you're opted in on the, uh, th uh, there's like a post on the Warcraft forums if you just Google it, like how do I opt into beta? Um, you'll find a link where you could opt in on your Battle.net account and therefore be eligible to be granted access to it. But anyway, I was, uh, yeah, I was doing my thing in Classic and I saw that it was up, so I was like, shit, let me, let me get right into this. So I, uh, I logged into the Shadowlands Alpha. Um, I was playing around for a bit, but I kept having, like, ish my computer kept crapping out. I don't know if it was, it was the game, like, the game client kept crashing on me. Apparently a lot of other people were dealing with that. Mm, you okay, know? that's good because so. I, it, it was interrupting my stream. Like my stream, I had to restart my stream like three times. Mm. So I was getting a little frustrated. I didn't know what to do. And you were getting ready to go to like to play alpha. And I was like, this is the perfect opportunity like for you to do your first stream. So yeah. let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> um, so we, we, we set up, it took like 10 minutes to set you up in Streamlabs because you already had like your pizza template. Yeah. And I um, was prepping for it. Just, you know, so everyone knows, I always was saying I'm, I'm going to stream soon. But the joke was I'm going to stream soon, TM. Um, but I was prepping for it. I was. <laughs> it just uh, was never the right moment. Yeah. But, yeah. Well. It happened. It was the right moment. And... Long story short, yeah, so she, she, you've done two streams so far, mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, more more to come. Yeah. No TM. <laughs> but uh, that, that's really what's been going on with us, like IRL stuff, I guess. Um, any any other IRL stuff? I mean, we've been watching a lot of Harry Potter. Oh my god, so much All Harry Potter. All the Harry Potter, Potter marathons. Dude. We watched The Circle. Oh, Circle, yeah, it's a yeah. Netflix show, uh, mm -hmm. like Which... a social experiment. Really cool. It seems like when you see the previews for it, it seems kind of gimmicky. Like a little shallow. Yeah. I, was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But, but it's so much more than that. So please give it a try. It got renewed for a second season. Um, and then what else? What um, else have we watched? Uh, obviously the ti Tiger King. Tiger King, yeah. Tiger Which a new Rings. episode's coming out? I think it, it's coming out today or like the, an Ooh. after show is coming out today. Oh, it God. just it sounded a little weird, and I'm a little skeptical and about the whole this. Weird, so <laughs> yes, yes, you're right, you're right. But I feel like I'm I'm worried it's gonna get too hyped up. I'm worried the show is too well received, and it's gonna get hyped up and that blown. Be a force, yeah, be a force content. Yes. Mm. So and and that's what I'm worried about this after show today. I think they got. Mm. I, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think they got Joel McHale. Oopsie. <laughs> um, I think they got Joan McHale to host it, so oh, it's yeah. like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> just picking names out of a hat, okay, uh, just random comedian, uh, okay, Joel <laughs> McHale, great. What is he doing? Nothing. Okay, <laughs> he's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. We've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, too. Mm, oh my god, the Easter, event is, the Easter event will be over today. Yeah, for those of you who play Animal Crossing, the eggs will finally be gone so after today. Happy. We're happy so about that. Happy. Um, <sighs> but yeah, I guess, so we're going we're gonna to spend a lot of time in this episode talking about the Shadowlands Alpha. Mm -hmm. um, if you're listening just audio only, I, I highly recommend you watch this on YouTube because uh, we will have a lot more visuals in this episode. Um, we got some screen grabs going on our computers right now, so I think we're, we're gonna like supplement our audio with some gameplay footage. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, definitely check it out on YouTube if you're not there already. Um, if not, I recommend it, but it's, I guess it's not mandatory, but... It, it's not, no, no, but we are gonna be talking about a lot of visu visuals, I guess, yeah. so to speak. Especially, you know, a lot of stuff has been data mined that I have been um, kind of turning a blind eye to just so I could give my genuine reaction um, mm. on the podcast. Oh, which cool. I, I I falter just a little bit. I saw the fawn models and I just started gushing right, over well, do them. Do you want to pull that up? Uh, no, let's... Not yet? Not yet, no. Okay. Let's just go into, you know, we have the alpha up right now. Let's just dive right into it. Okay, so what do you want to cover first. I guess I'll, I guess we could cover, like I, I wrote down a few notes, like yeah, first sure. impressions. Yeah, great, great. Some first impressions. Um, I don't know if you want to switch over right now, but I yeah, there you go. have been just hitting home runs with the randomized names again. You know, I first got, it started with Moisandra and Classic. Now I got Asini, 
in the uh, Shadowlands Alpha. Essany. Essany. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> Essany bugged out at one point because. What was it? It started to, the quest line started to bring up the allied races, so I just went to go check that out and it, it bugged out. So I couldn't um, access. Yeah, she was going to like, she went to the quest to accept the quest to make a Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah. And then they were like porting you to Black Rock Mountain and yeah. then you got stuck at the loading screen. And, <laughs> then, <laughs> and then that was it. And then we don't know what happened next. So there was like about a good, I don't know, a good couple hours I couldn't uh, get Asini back, but she's back. Um, Essany's back. All right, good. But in Essany's absence, absence, I uh, created this lovely, <laughs> lovely creature, Failing Panda Death Knight, which was also a uh, a randomized name. I I shit you not. I swear to God, Failing. Failing. Falling. Falling. Yeah. It, so it, yeah. So she she yeah, she made a Panda Death Knight just for shits and giggles, and you know you, you could hit randomize for the name, Failing. Now we know we know it's probably supposed to be like filing or something, yeah. but you're, you're hitting ah, ah. random, random, random. You're going through the names, and all of a sudden you see failing. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Ouch. I get it. I, I I take offense. I should not be making a panda death night right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> so you made yeah you made failing yeah, the panda death failing. night. Um. um Rita Mortis. Rita Mortis. Which was uh, a lovely, which was not a randomized name. It was just a lovely contribution by uh, Illy. Illy, so that's right. So thank you, Illy. And I just recently uh, just created Lusty, um, the little no mage, uh, just so we could, if we do want, just to walk through all of the, uh, the quests in the beginning. Because mm -hmm. there's one quest in particular, um, I, I think it's going to be a little troublesome. Um, but that's just my opinion and my feedback. But Lusty, that looks cool. huh. yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think you could get it. It might be, it might be like in the PVP set for BFA. I forget. Mm. I haven't really played BFA that much. But um, yeah. anyway, yeah. Lusty has a third eye located in the back of her head right here, which is that lovely little bald spot. Yeah, you know the hair. The hair is tied so tight that you know it created a bald spot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess we should submit a bug for that. Yeah, <laughs> Tiny I guess little bald I will. Spot. <laughs> There's a bald spot on uh, this hair. Uh, but she's still beautiful. We love her. She is, yeah. Bald, um, bald or not. Yes. Bald is bald. Bald is bald. Bald is beautiful. Bald is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. Asini is my main. Um, 52 already. Yeah, oh, 52. Shit. I, I know. I was stepping up in the world. Yeah, Asini. Asini, Asini, Asini. Um... <laughs> So, I... first impressions, or uh, let's go to your characters now. Okay, okay. Um, well, I, let me switch over to my gameplay <laughs> right here. I, though that's my Paladin that I copied over, the level 50 Paladin. Mm -hmm. um, hold on, let me switch the screens here. Uh, I made Quiz Cow because I, I, I don't know if I like just forgot, but I didn't realize that Torrens could be Paladins, but I'm not particularly surprised. But I just wanted to make a Torn Paladin, just just cause. Mm. Uh, but apparently, people were saying that that happened in Ra uh, Cataclysm, I think. I, I forget, huh. but they've been around for a while. I've just been out of the loop on my Torn Paladins, so <laughs> that's why I wanted to make one. Um, and then I made Man Bunadin, um, <laughs> because I wanted to check out the new Exiles Reach one to ten zone, which uh, I did make a video mm -hmm. on on YouTube about. Um, so if anybody wants to see like my review of Exiles Reach, the new Alliance leveling zone, one to ten, uh, be sure to check that out. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below, and I'll make a timestamp so that I could remind myself to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so that's really what I what I've done. You know, Bastion is the zone that you zone into mm -hmm. for for Shadowlands content. Um, Exiles Reach is your level one zone if you decide to make a new character. So that's basically um, the, I guess, structure of the alpha so far. Yeah, you know? as of right now. As of right now. Right, now, and you know, it, it's also really good to note that this is all, you know, very rough. Nothing is oh, essentially yeah. finalized. There are going to be bugs. It is just the very beginning. Mm -hmm, for sure. Of, of what we could expose ourselves to. Um, so Full that being show. said, you know, please try to go easy. Try not to be super critical and, and, and try to keep that in mind. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're we're trying not to be too critical. I mean, like first impression so far, like it, it feels like I'm playing BFA. I would say. Yes. I still feel like I'm playing BFA. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll I'll zone into Bastion real quick. I I will, like the zone. First impressions, the zones are gorgeous. Right. Everything is beautiful, beautifully laid out. Um, the NPCs are gorgeous. Our little, uh, what are they, these Kyrians, I think they're called? The little, uh, a, a Cory called the mini titans. Ah. Baby titans. Um, but just like the zone itself of Bastion is just gorgeous. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's, um, it's full of light. And it's heavenly, it really heavenly. is. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the term, heavenly. And you brought up a good point where you, uh, I mean, you, you could elaborate on it, but where you mm -hmm. think that, like, they, they are going to first bring us into this heavenly, bright, ambient, calm zone, but then you see screenshots from, like, Revendreth and, like, the Torghast Tower right. and, like, all these dark places, so... You, you have like a theory that, you know, I mean, obviously it's going to like kind of contrast each other and like. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's just, you know, storytelling 101. I think, you know, this is something to definitely look forward to of, yeah, we're going to start out with everything light and easy breezy and everything is sunshine and rainbows. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's just going to take a turn where, you know, we just look across the street and all of a sudden it's just like kind of creepy and dark and sinister. Yeah. Um, so your, uh, this whole, right yeah, this this whole new world isn't all, you know, happy-go-lucky, cheery. It, it does have some, some dark sides to it, mm -hmm. um, which I am glad we're starting out with the, the sunshine and rainbows before we get to the, the creepy stuff because honestly, like for me, that's the meat and potatoes. Like yeah. that is everything that I'm looking forward to in a bag of chips. Like, oh my God, I, yeah. I can't wait, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Um, that's not available in the alpha just yet, um, but I am just <laughs> really chomping at the bit <laughs> just to see anything <laughs> from that area. Yeah, seriously. I mean, like just, uh, as we said, like Bastion is, it's just beautiful. Um, we fortunately had the opportunity to play Bastion, that was the Shadowlands demo at BlizzCon, mm -hmm. was Bastion. And e even like looking at the clouds, like they're, they're like, they're kind of shaped like wings in a way, some of them. Right. Like, like very angelic, you know, if I had to describe it in wor one word, would you say angelic? Angelic, like absolutely. Heavenly, heavenly. Yeah. You know? A absolutely. So, you know, again, it looks like the art department is just hitting it out of the park um, with this one. Always. Always. always yeah. yeah. Always. Which I'm not, I'm not surprised. Like I'm, I'm appreciating the beauty of it, but I'm also like, I, I guess I, like I have very high expectations for the art department because they always kill it. Mm -hmm. And again, like this, this zone is gorgeous. So like, I'm not surprised that it's so gorgeous. Right. Does that make sense? Right. Right. Like so, it's what I expected. Right. What, and, and I gotta, I gotta try to word this the best way possible. You know, I, I want to be as constructive with any form of criti criticism I have, whether it be positive or negative, just I, I want to make sure I'm just absolutely just articulating it in the, in the best way I possibly can. Um, I am slightly concerned that, you know, they're just going to be relying on these gorgeous visuals. So similar to kind of what movies are doing nowadays they're just like oh yeah make everything flashy and beautiful you know a story will just be Big like explosions a, yeah, yeah like an afterthought it's yeah no they have to both work together to bring you know this beautiful product mm -hmm. um it kind of fits together like a puzzle piece so i i'm i i know this isn't a finished product um but i i am going through the quest i am slightly uh concerned that they're just gonna rely on visuals here i mean right now the visuals are carrying it i feel yeah. like um again like this is only the alpha but nothing in terms of the quest questing that i've done so far like really blew me away or like right or like made me be like wow this is so cool like i can't wait to play more in a way right um it just felt like a continuation i guess of what i was doing in bfa like the similar quest you know like hey uh kill 10 of these collect 10 of these and 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 talk to this person which is 
which is what it's been like in, in WoW all the way from vanilla, right? Right, and, and to me, that's what World of Warcraft is. It's just go over here, kill some of this, go over there, kill some of that, gather some of this, and then bring it back to that guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, to me, is the spirit of WoW. And mm -hmm. throughout the years, I feel like because there's so much more on the market, that they're so focused with, you know, being able to compete with every other option that they kind of lost sight of that, of like their their goal or their original identity, yeah. so to speak. Um, you know, just <laughs> streaming for the first time, going from classic to retail to the alpha again, it's, mm -hmm. it seriously is an entirely different game. There is just so yeah. much going on now. <laughs> it is so vastly different. Some for the better and, you know, some I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like less is more in, in regards to World of Warcraft. Mm. So much could be carried with, go over here, kill this, drop rate of shit, yeah, but, you know, oh well. Um, <laughs> so that... Well, here's, the, here's what it seems like to me, right? Yeah. It's like, WoW is a pioneer in so many ways, original mm -hmm. vanilla World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. like. When that game came out, there was nothing like it at that time. Right. It was, you know, revolutionary. And as a result, so many other games tried to copy WoW or emulate the, the interface of WoW, the gameplay, the combat, all that stuff. And nothing ever truly overtook WoW, I would say. Like, WoW, right. WoW has been king for a really long time. Um, are there other MMOs that have taken over, overtaken WoW? In the current years, maybe Final Fantasy XIV. Um, Skyrim was big for a while. Skyrim was. The, um, Skyrim's downfall is that they just don't update. They yeah. just don't. <laughs> like there, there's so new. it's just so many games that I've played too. Like I just like, uh, I don't know, random MMOs that I've tried out throughout the years, and I I, I always like log in and I'm like, wow, this this kind of looks like WoW. But it does, it's not as good as WoW, mm -hmm. so I might as well just go back to playing WoW. Yeah. That was always my mentality. But now what it seems like, in the more modern era, WoW kind of had to take a step back and see what other modern MMOs are doing. Mm. Um, if that makes sense. So like, in the past, right. companies looked to WoW for inspiration and, and how to make their game better. But right. now it seems like WoW is kind of looking at other games on how they can improvise and maybe in improve quality of life things and stuff like that. And one of the big things that I noticed is that quest, um, the quest tracker. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if you could see it on my screen right now. Where is it? Do you have it on yours? Uh, it should be coming up soon, as soon as okay. we get over this RP. It, it, it's basically like a little uh, yellow dot in the middle of my screen. You could kind of see it. I'm moving it around but it shows you which direction you should move in uh, to get to your next quest. Is, it, is that called a waypoint? Way yeah, is it a waypoint, objective mark? Something like that. Um, so yeah, like you can see the torrent on my screen right now. I'm walking towards it and the yardage is going down, meaning I'm going in the right direction. I'm facing it. Um, that's just an example for me. Like mm -hmm. I've seen that in so many MMOs. Like I think Final Fantasy has that. I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy XIV has that. Um, so seeing this in WoW, was interesting to me. I, I've seen it through add-ons in WoW, mm -hmm. um, but never like in, in the native uh, UI. So that's kind of something that, that stood out to me right away. Like, oh wow, it looks like we're taking ideas from, I don't know if it's an idea. It's not or taking, just, yeah, it's yeah. just, it's, it's influenced, influenced by quality yeah. of life. Uh, yeah, so quality of life. that's just something that stood out to me, where it's like, you know, you just have to borrow ideas and, and, uh, and quality of life improvements um, from other games. I've played some MMOs where it automatically moves your character to that waypoint. Mm. Where like, oh, my quest is done, okay, I have to go here, let me just like right click here and then it's gonna auto move my character. Right. Like along that path. Kind of like in like League or something where you could right. click on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it paths you there, yeah. So that, that was just something for me. Um, isn't there something like that they're doing with with three D quest tracking too? Or oh jeez. Here I'll show you. I'm gonna switch to your screen. Yeah sure. Um, but yeah, like what do you think about the gameplay style? Like it 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 
It feels like BFA. Yeah, right? it's still it still feels like BFA. Like despite the level squish, I think it still feels like more modern retail wow. Like I don't know why, like maybe in the back of my head I thought, "Oh, maybe it's going to feel more uh, classic with the combat style or something because uh, we're going to be like level 50, level 60 again." Right. So I I do feel like some talents um, they brought back do have uh, some class identity. Um, so that's nice. I, I still have to fully uh, dive in and, and look into that. Um, yeah, it, it still feels like, you know, it plays like retail WoW. Um, mm -hmm. Which, I mean, uh, we shouldn't be surprised by that, right? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. That's not what I have concerns over. What World of Warcraft is to me is, again, those, those kill quests with, um, you know, kind of a difficult... Uh, drop rate and <laughs> you know I love those mm -hmm. I love the shit out of them they're grindy they can be a little mindless I, I, I get it I love those I want more of those I want to see more of those I want to see less of the quest that it's like oh so-and-so needs a pep talk go over to them and say hey buddy it's gonna be okay <laughs> like there's a point in the alpha where that's a quest line, and you just have to go about, you know, to all the other like, uh, what what what's this race called in, in this area? I totally the, forget. Uh, Kyrian. Yeah, I think? the Kyr. I I don't know. I'm so bad with names. I'm Kyrian, so sorry. Yeah, I think they're Kyrian. Um, yeah. Just have to go about and just be like, hey, it's gonna be okay, buddy. We're gonna get through this together. Yeah. It's like what I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> but what purpose does that serve other than being just a filler? Like, I, I Free XP. get, I, Easy I, XP. <laughs> yeah. I get, you know, you want to try to prove a point in that they're really kind of a, a vulnerable race in terms of, you know, if you give a little bit of positivity, it'll go a long way for them, especially with negativity. Mm -hmm. So they're very, you know, emotionally charged like that, I guess. Well, anyway. there's a quest in particular that you are referencing. And right. There's a quest early on in Bastion. I think it's like the second or third quest. It's a collect quest. Mm -hmm. And the drop rate is kind of low, and... I want to see if I could get to it. I'm, like, kind of close Yeah, try by. to get to it. It's okay. Um, yeah, um, but... Yeah. On the alpha, you brought up a good point where you, you might think it, it's going to be kind of like a, a, a bottleneck area. It, it definitely is, and, and it's unclear to me. I don't know if it's clear to anyone else. Please, you know, I mean, you're going to comment anyway, so please comment um, and, and let me know. But this area in the Alpha, at least, is shared by both Horde and Alliance. Mm -hmm. And there's a point where you have to collect like eight of something, 15 of something for one quest, just killing things in yeah. just a really small area. And I'm worried it's gonna be a bottleneck, you know, especially if Horde and Alliance are sharing the same area. It's pretty much right off the bat in, in Bastion, so, I don't know, if, if Horde and Alliance are sharing the same area, it's going to be really discouraging. So all these players are just going to go in, it's going to be a bottleneck, where they're just going to wait around and maybe it be PvP, maybe it not. Yeah. But it's just, it's going to be a really frustrating point. Um, and the drop rate is shit, too. Which I love, but if, if there are going to be a lot of players in one area of different factions, I think they do have to consider... Well, sorry, yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, yeah, no, but no. can't you just share tags of mobs? With your, with your fellow, fellow alliance. alliance, yes, but if so, you're sharing it with Horde, yeah. so, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit of a bottleneck area. I, uh, yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be. Uh, hopefully, you know, there's an even number of Horde and Alliance there that they could share the, uh, the tags on, but yeah. Sharing tags definitely helps prevent a, bo a bottleneck, but mm -hmm. on the alpha, it did seem, it didn't seem like a bottleneck area as you mentioned. Right, and um. there aren't a lot of people on the alpha to begin with, and because yeah. it's the alpha. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's just the drop rate is really low. There aren't a lot of people to help you out with quests, which it seems like some quests with with bigger mobs, similar to BFA and, and recent expansions of mm -hmm. World of Warcraft, you do need that level of teamwork to take down the big bad guy. Um, yeah. It's a little difficult right now in the alpha, I guess at, at the point that I came in, um, to try to pair up with other people to take certain mobs down. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see if I could get to this quest so I could show you guys. 
um, what I'm talking about. I could just be overreacting, um, <laughs> but it is a, it is a pretty big concern for me because I want this to do well. I don't want people to get frustrated. I don't want think I don't want people to think this is BFA 2.0, and mm-hmm. you know I, I I think that's an area in particular um, that should uh, be looked over at least just just a little bit more. All right. Um... So yeah, those are all valid points. Uh, I'm I'm zoned into the uh, first instance that we encounter uh, in the alpha so far. Mm-hmm. It's called Necrotic Wake. The Necrotic Wake, excuse me. Um, there's four bosses in here: Blightbone, Amarth, Surgeon Stitch Flesh, and Nalthor the Rhyme Binder. So this is cool. This kind of has like a lich, you know, undead lich theme to it. Um, let's see if we could target Tar Blightbone. He he looks like some kind of abomination monstrosity. I could actually see him in the distance there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but um, yeah, he's got like that that you know monstrosity look to it. There's a Marth. He's the second boss. He's actually flying right above us right now. So cool. Uh, so is a Marth? Is there somebody mo- mounted on that? Yeah. There. Okay. So there's a, a a Marth must be the guy mounted on that two-headed like undead uh, chimera or something. I don't know what mm-hmm. the heck that is. Um, I don't know. Can we see the surgeon? No. So I, I'm trying to like see how big this instance is. I can't target the last two bosses, so uh, I was kind of curious, like, is this is this kind of the whole thing? Like, um, right, right, like, is everything that we could see the entire instance? Right. You know? But, um, it looks cool. Like, you know, undead mobs. Always fun. Blight, bu- Blight Bag is the name of a mob. <laughs> cool. Assembled soldier. So, looks really cool. There's a necropolis up there. Um, reminds me of Nexramus. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I mean, this is really the content that we've seen so far in the Shadowlands Alpha. The only uh, additional thing, as I mentioned, I made a video for. It's um, the 1 to 10 uh, starting zone. And uh, I'll... I'll Get a get a screen grab of that in a moment. Um, as I switch characters, we can see Pasta playing on her mage in the meantime. Mm. What are those shards around you? I don't know. I've never That's played a mage like a combo before. point or something. Yeah, is it? I think it is. They, what? It's like empowered no. or something. I don't know. I've never played a Whoa. mage. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Oh God, it's so foreign to me. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But the, the level 1 to 10 uh, starting area, I, I really did enjoy. I enjoyed it actually more than the level 50 Bastion content so far, currently. Um, and I think that's because, it's a number of reasons. But the main reason is I think because I main classic. Like, I, I play classic WoW all the time. That's my jam. And going from classic WoW to what you see here is very, very overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Like, every single system you could think of, gameplay, spell, ability, like, almost everything is, is changed in some way or another. So, it's very daunting for me to go from playing Classic all the time into, you know, this version of the game. It's very overwhelming. Um, that being said, Jumping into a level 50 as a bash, it, it, jumping jumping into Bastion as a level 50, like I said, uh, I, I just felt like there was too much going on. Like I, I didn't feel comfortable. I, I feel like I had to like look at every spell to see if it did what I thought it would do. You know, like like flash something like Flash of Light is different now. You know, yeah. like in in Classic, you spam Flash of Light. It's mana efficient. It's nice. Does some nice healing, whatever. But in in the retail version of WoW. Flash of Light is a more expensive heal, so you mm-hmm. only do that in like really, really emergency situations. Otherwise, if you spam it, you're going to drain all your mana as a paladin. Uh, so just like things like that, you know, like little things that you're not really aware of or, or just attentive to or not used to. So it, de- it de- definitely, definitely a learning curve. So again, uh, starting a new level one character, doing the Exile's Reach scenario, was really good for me, and I think that's why I enjoyed it, just because it kind of goes back to that simplicity in a way, where um, you're kind of starting from nothing, and you you start from nothing and kind of work your way up, you know? 
So let me see, like I'll, I'll show you guys the beginning of the uh, Exile's Reach, yeah. but um, as I told you guys, like, oh, Mindy, okay, well, Mindy, fine. As I told you guys, I, I made a video on it, um, so I don't wanna like, you know, reinvent the wheel, but you make a level one, and, uh, whoop, hold on a second, here we go. Uh, the, as you can see, the, the <laughs> cutscenes are still a work in progress, so it's kind of funny that there's like a giant X <laughs> in front of it right now, um, work in progress. But the, 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 the whole scenario is really cool, like you're basically on a ship, and you're, uh, you know, you're training, you're new level one. And I think like when you make a trial character in Retail WoW, you, you kind of go through a similar experience. Mm. You, like, you, cause I think they give you uh, a class that you could trial. Right, right? you're like on an airship yeah. or something? Yeah, right. So this, this ship theme was, was kind of familiar to me in that regard. Um, but yeah, you're on this ship, you know, you're sailing out in, in, the, in the middle of the ocean and you get to a certain level and what do you know, a big storm approaches that we weren't expecting. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Um, and then what happens? You get, you get shipwrecked on an island and uh, fortunately you survive, but you have to find your, uh, your comrades who are scattered about the island and in need of first aid and whatnot. So it just kind of goes through the process of like, you know, you, oh, the first mob you kill are murlocs on the island. Ah, which is like cool. a nice little like nod to, that's typically like early level mobs, you know, mm. murlocs, that's, that's all familiar to me, I think. So I kind of like that familiarity, you know, starting from nothing, seeing murlocs, kind of like back to the basics in a way. Right. Um, so I guess that's, that's really why I enjoyed the opening uh, you know, level one scenario for Exile's Reach. Um, you you go through it uh, all the way up to level ten. So by the time you're level ten, you obviously you could pick a specialization. Uh, you you unlock your mount. Um, you could leave Exile's Reach and <laughs> go on to uh, other things as well. Now this is optional too. So if you create a new level one um, and you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Um, and also that being said. Yo, here's a storm. Um, yeah. That being said, if you make a death knight, a demon hunter, or an allied race, th this you will not see this because this is just for fresh level ones of the uh, original core uh, races available. So, just wanted to make that clear. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we just got on, we just got shipwrecked on the island. And oh, here's another work in progress cutscene. <laughs> as you can see, the island's kind of cool. I, I like the uh, the scenery, but yeah, so you get the first quest here, and I'm not going to do a complete walkthrough, but as you can see, yeah, kill some murlocs. The, the murlocs took the first aid kits. We got to recover them. <laughs> and uh, oh, that's so cute. That's about it, yeah. How you doing on your end? I'm doing, I don't know how to play mage, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Mages are fun, I'll get man. there. Yeah, I'm having fun. I just, I need time to learn the class yeah yeah that's so cute i haven't i haven't done that yet oh this is great next time you stream i think you should do it oh hell yeah dude just make a fresh one and uh yeah. go through the exiles reach oh hell yeah so yeah i guess like you know in, in comparison exiles reach versus the level 50 content i i will say that i did i did enjoy do, going through exiles reach a lot more um but yeah i mean what what else about the alpha there's been a crap ton of data mining right. going on. Wowhead. They, they even do live streams of their data mining. They like, do? As they oh, discover it. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. But um, just like a lot of images are surfacing from Wowhead, like uh, new character customizations and uh, skins and, and, and uh, attire of NPCs. So everything, I don't know, everything's just looking really cool. Oh, did you ice block? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, don't watch this. Oh, no. This is so bad. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. You got this. We're doing it. You got We're playing this. the feud. No, don't do that. I don't know anything about playing a retail I'll, mage. I'll I just got my oh, classic stop. mage to level 60. Oh, ass. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. You know, we're, we're testing things out. We're, 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 
We're testing out the alpha. So bad. Oh, so, so bad. a lot of people, you know what? She did this on purpose, guys, because a lot of people wanted to ah. see what it's like to be dead. Oh, yeah. In the Shadowlands Alpha. So can you zoom in yeah, real totally. quick on that? I'm, I'm, I've got like noodle arms. So you're kind of like a torso, right? Yes. It's a floating torso, Naruto running <laughs> in ghost form. Nearly headless. <laughs> That's what a lot of people are like, well, how could you die in the Shadowlands? I don't know. I don't know the lore behind it. You but double die. You double die? <laughs> but that's what dying looks like in this the alpha. Isn't, this isn't dying. This is advanced dying. Yeah. <laughs> dying 201, not 101. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Yeah, no that's... Noodle Arms Naruto running. That's what we've, we've deemed it. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, but also... Um, you know, speaking of the Shadowlands Alpha, we're open to suggestions from you guys. So if you want us to test something particularly or look at something, um, we're all ears. Um, if you want us to like take a look at like uh, protection warriors or like I don't know, Windwalker monks, just like let yeah. us know. Like we'll we'll either we'll live stream it on Twitch or we'll we'll make a separate video, just kind of like looking at all the talents, looking at all the spells, the abilities. Cool. Things like that. So, yeah, definitely let us know in the comment section below um, what of the alpha you want to see us uh, check out. Um, I kind of wanted to explore, like, I copied my my level my paladin over at level 50. I kind of want to explore the pre-existing areas of Azeroth and see what they're like. Like, uh... Like... Like if I go to the Outland, you know, what would the Outland look like? Or like the Cataclysm Ooh. Zones, like are things scaled down already? Or um, what if I try to go to uh, like a WAD dungeon? Is everything going to be scaled down? So th those are things that I haven't experimented with yet. And actually I don't even know if those, if I can do that in the Alpha. So that might be something I check out. Um, what else though? What else about the Alpha? Um... Do you want to look at some of the character customization? Sure, hell yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Why don't we do that? Because um, I know a lot of people are big into the uh, character customization changes. So right, there there are some in the alpha right now, but there's still a lot that needs to be added, um, which has been data mined. So we could um, review what's on the alpha right now, but then mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. review uh, what's to come. Um, that's been data mined. So yeah. Yeah, like I know, I know for sure, like, um, Undeads are gonna have a hide bone feature. I love that. I, that was a long time coming. <laughs> I really was. I just I hated having my all my joints exposed constantly. <laughs> it it gets cold and they get hard to move. Like, well, you know, you that, that you gotta I'm warm old. up. You gotta <laughs> warm up a little bit. But uh, I know for sure that that's not in the game yet, or, mm. or the alpha. It's not in the alpha just yet. So um, you wanna use? I'll use my screen, I guess. Sure. Yeah. We'll head on over to my screen. Oh, look, a Lua era. Nice. So, I guess what we do is we go to create char create new character. Um, do you, let's look at the allied races. Sure. How about that? Sure. So, let's look, we'll start with Void Elf. We'll look at the top. Um, I always like Void Elves. Like, if I, if I were to make a new character, I'd, I'd make a Void Elf for sure. <laughs> like, I just love the way they look. Um, Were there any changes to them? I don't... I don't know. I just like... They, they are so bis looking. Like <laughs> a Blood Elf Warlock. Uh, oh, sorry, Void Elf. Void Elf Warlock is what I would make. Mm. Um, I just love the way they look. They like... Oh, they're like purple Blood Elves. You waifu. Know? How yeah. could you go wrong with that? Yeah, ultimate waifu. <laughs> look at that hair. It's beautiful. We got the Void Elves, uh, we got the Lightforged uh, Drain Eye. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, uh, my Paladin was a Lightforged Drain Eye for like a hot minute, when, back when oh. we were still playing retail. Yes, that's right, I remember that. Yeah. I remember being sad. I was like, oh, I, I, I like that you were a human. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, did, I went back to human eventually. Oh yeah, dude. But yeah, we got the Lightforged Drain Eye, Dark Iron Dwarves. I also li really like Dark Iron Dwarves. I like the way they look. I feel like the female Dark Iron Dwarves are kind of like those emo stepsisters that are like ah. hanging out, you know, listening to, to their alternative 90s rock <laughs> in their room with the headphones on really loud, practicing guitar. 
you know? They don't want anybody to hear the guitar, though, because they're self-conscious. <laughs> Am I talking about myself? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, the, female, the females in particular, like, I really like the hairstyles. Look, like, look at this. It, it really does. Look how, like, emo that is. They look very like, moody. Like, goth, maybe? Like, could I, could I, look at that. With the makeup, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love how, like, that the tips of the hair look like fire yeah. tinged or whatever. Always really cool, which, that that's nothing new. That's, you know, that's what you get when you get a, uh, a dark iron dwarf. That's pretty baller, yeah. Cult you have a cult named, uh... Doubtfire, don't that you? That I do. Yeah. I because they have a Doubtfire hairstyle. They do. Let me this see the Doubtfire. Can, that one. This one. Yeah. Yep. This is the Doubtfire. As hairstyle. well as the color, too. Yes. So I just love. <laughs> Euphigenia. Euphigenia Doubtfire. Great movie. If any, if y'all haven't seen it, highly, so highly recommend it. Euphigenia, dear. But uh, yeah. It's on Broadway now, which. Uh, yeah. Well, not currently. Oh uh, yeah. Obviously not currently, but. Yeah, oof, she is thick. Hell yeah. Uh, mecha gnomes. So, what do you think of the mecha gnomes? Can, I, you, can you customize their arms and legs? No, so they suffer the same thing that uh, Undead previously has. So I think you could like either do all armor or, or all robot or kind of really very little robot, uh, okay. but it's always your arms and legs that, uh -huh. are, uh, that are robo. And, you know, not enough people are talking about it, but they suffer exactly what the undead have previ previously been suffering for the past, like, 15 years. So, I, you know, what if I want real arms? Well, here's the thing. I guess... <laughs> it's tough. Ha having, I guess arms and legs are, are like, Oops. realistically, the, the only, like, things you could have me mechanized currently as humans, right? Because you need your torso. I mean, what else do we and got? And your head. We don't really got much else. But there's no vital organs in our arms and our legs. Right, but like, what if I just wanted one arm robo? Oh, okay, so that's what you mean. Yeah. Just one robotic just arm. Just one, or like, Okay, or you know, one other, robotic leg. Yeah, both. Yeah, or, okay, I could see that. Or none, and yeah. just my legs, I don't know. Okay, yeah, or like just one robotic leg. Yeah. Like you, you were in a battle at Mechagon, you lost your leg, and then the or I just gnomes. wanted a robo leg. Or you just wanted a robo leg. Yeah, it's cool. You don't it was on a, a discount that weekend on Amazon. Yeah, it was on the black market yeah. auction house. <laughs> 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 yeah, Mecha gnomes are kind of cool, though. They are they cool. They're kind of cool. I, I think... That looks so weird, though. They Mecha do. Gnome Mage. That looks I so know. weird. They look weird. What are they like? What class? Does any class look like, like the like with the dress? No. Yeah, they the just priest dress on. They just look weird. Yeah. And they really do need more customizable options. They do look kind of awkward. I guess mm. Rogue. I guess looks the most looks the best in yeah. my opinion. I don't know. All right, let's go into Nightborn. Oh, okay. So Nightborn are like taller Void Elves. Yes. And I love how stuck up they are. They're really tall. Hell yeah. Yeah, they, yeah he's got the resting... Bis bit, 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 bit. He's got We've the resting... <laughs> he's got the resting bitch face going on right now. Hell yeah. Is that the Bloodfang gear? Or Night... It kind of looks like oh. Bloodfang or Night Slayer. Hmm. Right? Any, any gaze. All right, here's the high mountain. Um, here's the high mountain. Whoa! Oh. Is she naked? Oh. Wait. wait. Oh. 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 Is this video gonna get flagged? <laughs> Are we gonna look, get flagged? Look at <laughs> oh my god. The skirt. The skirt is made of fur. Oh. What? It's a skirt made out of flesh. Flesh oh, fur. Whoa! Oh, what is going on right is now? That a whole lot of... That's like, that, that little thing should be a little lower, a whole right? lot of cow and... Oh, jeez. My booty, oh my god. What does a druid look like? You know, like? I think I could have went through my entire life, my entire lifespan, in its entirety, two times over, without seeing that. Why is she naked? And I would have been okay. Why is she naked? Why is she... Girl! <laughs> Put on some underwear. Girl, 
Dude, I think the monk is the funniest because it has that little belly button <laughs> thing that, like, it, it, if it was a little lower, it would, it would look funny because, you know, it's trying to cover her, her yeah. private parts. Yeah. I love how the hair, you know, just covers the top half and, like, the monk oh. emblem covers the bottom. Lordy. Oh, lordy. Well, <laughs> I guess it's safe to say that this is a, a work in progress. It's safe to say that clothes are overrated. <sighs> Live your best life. Damn. Do the males look like that, too? Oh, Okay. The males are naked too. Wow, okay. They, they have the Ken doll thing going on. Oh, geez. Oh, they, God, that skin skirt. The, ooh, the skin skirt. Ah. Ugh. Same thing with the monks. My brain. Oh, my. Okay, well. Okay. Um, maybe it's for furries? I don't know. Oh, no, don't get that. Okay. Get that shit out right. of here. Mag get that shit out of my game. Here's the Maghar orcs. Okay. They have I always, clothes on. I always wanted to make a Maghar, but I never wanted to spend like the. Oh, nice! He's got ashless, assless chops, so that's pretty good. Oh yeah, um, cool. I always, I always wanted a Maghar. I just never wanted to spend the money to convert my pre-existing orc hun hunter. I can't speak, dude. I can't speak. Oh, uh, to to, to a Maghar. The, pay for the race change or whatever. Yeah, pay for the race change. Yeah. I am so socially deprived, dude. I just, I don't, I forgot how to speak. What are words? <laughs> I, I just, they all mush together. Just, and like word vomit. I'm so sorry. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. I feel like for the past month, I've just been speaking like nonsensical words. <laughs> Maybe that's been a, my entire life. I don't know. Um, well, Zandalari trolls are really tall. Are they, they taller than Nightborn? Good. Who's the tallest character right now? Oh, Zandalari so trolls are actually like... They look the tallest. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, look at her compared to the Nightborn. And I thought mm -hmm. the Nightborn were tall. What about the Volpira? Volpira? Volpira. Eee, they look so cute and They're, tiny. They are cute. And I love that they could be a death knight. So I <laughs> think. <laughs> and you know they're like they're like little annoying little creatures, right? I love right? it. I love it. It's like me. You want to make a Volpira death I knight? I think I do. They <laughs> it's just... With the little furry tail coming out. I think that's my spirit animal, man. I could totally see you as a Volpira Death Knight. I identify as a Volpira Death Knight. Wow. It shouldn't exist, but it does. Yeah. That's me. No, I see it. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> New level 58. No, wait, that can't be right. Right? Or, no. Oh, okay, I can't. Yeah, yeah I can't no, make no. an allied. Okay. Core races, I mean, we know what the core races look like. The only thing I wanted to check out was Blood Elf. Some people were saying that the Blood Elf eyes, you could yes. you could have blue eyes for Blood Elves. So I, I don't know I don't know if that's on the alpha right now, but that is yeah. something that will be customizable. Um, which is looking like you've got blue eyes right now. Well these are green. Oh they're green? Yeah. I can't see from here. It's okay. We got the green and we got the uh, the golden eyes too. The golden uh I actually really like the golden eyes for the uh, the blood elves. I think those are great. It just looks so good. Um, it really does fit the entire race all together. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, so I don't see the blue eyes just yet on the uh, on the blood elves. Um, but yeah, I guess that's some, I guess that's like with the with the undeads, right? It's not available yet. The mm. undead, uh, the hiding the bones. Right. Um, the blood elf blue eyes. I'm sure there are a few other things that were data mined, um, but we can't see them yet. How about the human? I know they were gonna make humans like have a lot, a lot, a lot more like um, ethnic yes. features. It, it wasn't just humans too. They were gonna add it to blood elves as well. Um, oh really? Yes, in addition oh, wow. to some other races. But yes, the the skin tones in particular, they were going to have a bigger um, like a wider range. Yeah, wider range, so to speak. So okay. that's that's really exciting. Again, like long time coming. Really glad it's it's in this expansion. So. Yeah, that's super cool. Like, if you think about any game, really, like, realistically, like, yeah. the character customization, you could spend freaking five hours customizing your character. Oh, yeah. Everything from, like, eye shape to bust size to, like, your foot size, you know? Yeah. Like, for those foot lovers out there. Um, mm -hmm. Even, like, you could, you could put in an, an exact RGB value for what eye color you want. So, yeah. like, like, crazy things like that. Um, so yeah, I've definitely spent like hours. I'm like, <laughs> I get really excited about a new game. Like, uh, I, I can't think of like the latest one I've done, I've done this with, but like, 
I've just spent like an hour like customizing my character. I remember when Skyrim came out, and I shit you not, I no joke spent legit an hour in the character customization, <laughs> and I was like, now this is pod racing. Like, <laughs> uh, like an hour of my life I will never get back, but I just, I will, I, I just can't spend it any other way. I just, mm. it, it it's just, it's fun. It's like almost a mini game within the game. It's, yeah, you know, so I'm, I'm glad they're adding more features, not only to human, but just every race in general, it looks. Yeah. So that's, that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't wait until they add that in the alpha. That way we could uh, actually go all through everything together. Um, yeah, let us know yeah. in the comments below if you want us to just make a video when it comes out of us going through all the different character customizations because I, th I think that would be really fun <laughs> and roasting them roasting yeah. them right <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> little pandas uh, all right so i guess i guess that's it for shadowlands alpha i mean i know we spent a lot of time on it and uh again uh i hope you guys are watching on youtube because mm -hmm. i feel like there there's been a lot of visuals in the podcast so far um, so for those of you who are, who are listening audio only, I do apologize. Um, right. hope you, hope you didn't feel like left out or anything like that, but. No, all good. I, I did get to that, uh, that quest in the beginning. Oh, did you? Uh, I did. Let's take a look then. Let's skip right that on over. That I did. Um, uh, so is the, end yet? the quest in particular is called an act of service. Um, okay. and you could just see the, uh, the spacing kind of right here of, uh, you know, where you could get everything. You do need, um, what was it? You need thread, one piece of thread from a vendor, which is great, but that's like the easiest thing that you could get. Everything else you need like eight and 15, and the drop rate is like iffy at best. Um, so here's this, you're sharing this area with Horde and you'll see a, a druid pop up. I think he just went into stealth, um, but he is a, a Horde druid. So I'm sharing this, this area with Horde. Um, I just, I don't know, I think the the amount of items that you need to get is too high and the drop rate is too low um, for an area that's going to be so crazy filled right in the beginning mm. um, with, you know, the, the other faction. So, I mean, comment below if, you know, you think I'm overreacting. Um, I, again, you know, I just, <laughs> I, I just want the best for this game. I have the best intentions, but I think right away, this is definitely like a little uh, point of concern, at least for me. I, I just see this potentially being a bottleneck. Mm -hmm. um, just It's just like the flow of the game too. Like when I first logged into the Shadowlands Alpha as well, I remember when I got to this point and thinking in my head like, I'm kind of bored. Or yeah. like, I don't even want to finish this quest. Right. Like I was just like over it. And that's alone on the Alpha. There's not a lot of people on the alpha right now. Yeah. Imagine when this place is fucking filled. Packed I mean, I to guess the they, they have like layers and shards in retail too, right? But still, it's going to be really packed. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, it'll be interesting to see how this, this area uh, continues to develop. Is this going to be the only starting point for level 50s? I don't know. And that's like, that's another thing too. Is this going to be the only starting point? Is this definitely going to be shared with the opposite faction? Yeah. What, what is this? Is it, maybe this is too soon to tell. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe you could choose which zone you want to start with. Couldn't you do that in BFA, BFA a little bit? that's right, that's right. And we chose Drusfar. And honestly, the like... best I, one. I know, I yeah. kind of wish we, we did that last. I don't know. I love Drusfar. That, that, was, was, that was great. That was really the best zone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Uh, do you want to go over anything that's been data mined? Um, um, anything that sticks out to you, you know? Just uh, the fawn Just drag models. it over to your other oh, monitor yeah, that's right. so we can Wee. see. Yep, there we go. Cool. The fawn models. Oh, oh my wow. god, they just, it just reminds me of Pan's Labyrinth, and I just, I just want to brush up on all things horror before going into this expansion, because I, I want to see how many, you know, subtle nods I can pick up on. Mm -hmm. um, I already picked up on one where the, the Dracula hairstyle from a, a Gary Oldman Dracula. Oh, so. and they have the, um... I don't know if it's the Bride of Drac the Bride of Frankenstein. Bride or? of Frankenstein, sorry. That long um, one with the Yes, the white. that is a hairstyle. Oh yes, I love it. I'll, I'll try to find it as you as you're uh, kind of going through that. I stuff. love it, but 
love all things that's like all things that are old gothic -y and, and horror one of my favorite movies of all time is pan's labyrinth so mm. looking at all these fawns i'm just again just like gushing over it i can't mm. wait i just can't wait to see them there's so many models that it does make me wonder like so many customization options with the horns that it does make me wonder they share very similar features to the draenei so I'm wondering if oh. they will eventually be an allied race. That's just my speculation and my hopes, honestly, honestly, because I, I, again, like I love Pan's Labyrinth. It's just, oh, so cool. Fawns are so cool, dude. <laughs> um, so that's that. Yeah. Just looking at all these and like the skin tones too. Oh my God. So cool. Wow, there's so many. There are. You see, that's what I'm. Holy that's moly. what I'm saying. Dude. Are those males too, or are they yes. all female? Oh, okay. Yes. So these are males. Wow, that's wild. I'm telling you. Look, they even have the pants. Oh my god, it's the horn. Oh my god, it looks like Pan's Labyrinth. I love it. Oh, it's <laughs> so sweet, man. Dude, ah. I love how excited you are about that. Like that's that's really cool. Um, I don't know. It's. I mean, that's that's big, like, you know, yeah. the, the old school horror, mm -hmm. you know, like that there's a whole culture of that and like fan base. It really so. is. I, I took classes on it. Dude. Wow. It's just, it's, it's nuts. Um, I've, I've never seen this before and I've, I really was thinking about um, Revendreth. Uh, wow. The Revendreth uh, Coven. I feel oh, like Covenant, some, yeah. Yeah, the Covenant. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I feel like there's so many tongue twisters. Um, just going through plate and claw. Haven't seen these. Oh, wow. they're so moody. I love it. <laughs> Tier three. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, there's just like. <sighs> it's so cool. I don't like even Like the know. tombstone in the back. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> even the. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to try to find that haircut. Um, yeah, please. I would love it. The, I think it was the Bride of Frankenstein hair. I mean, you, you would know better than I do. Mm. But, um, yeah, they just look so sick. These are the new skin tones for the undead. Look at that hair. I love it. That hair looks sick. I love it. I love that hair. Long time coming. Just great, 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 great. Wow. Wonderful work. There, there, and you, you see so much of that, like, mm -hmm. oh gosh. With like, I, like I can't believe how much they've data mined, already. That's so good. And they're just like, okay, so here we go. We got the covered bones option. Oh, they they almost look like a orc there. Like yeah. she almost looks like a maghar orc a little bit. Which I mean, it just it just flows right into you know your character on on who you were before you became an undead. So it just I don't know. It it just adds another level of really how deep you wanna to invest in this game, so to speak. You know, like creating a character and creating their backstory if you want to be on an RP server. Um, mm -hmm. So, okay. I don't know if this is a glitch, but you could kind of see that their knee is still a little bit exposed. It does look like it mm. it's not finished just yet. So... Or do you think that could be intentional? I don't know. Mm. Um, I'm kind of hoping not because... You know, it's it's like, hey, yeah, everything's covered, and you know, it's it's technically not. You still technically have that little tiny exposure of, of me. Mm. Um, oh, here I found the hair, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll please. switch uh, to me real quick. Totally. So you see in the middle right there? Is that is that the the bride oh, of Frankenstein? Oh no, that's that's Elvira. Oh, Elvira. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. No, I don't know my good. my horror stuff. Oh my god, that's. Oh, I love that. <laughs> like, just look at that hair. <laughs> That's so look at that cool, hair. man. Um, and even like the other hairstyles, like this kind of like, uh, sorry, it's a little covered on the on my screen. It kind of reminds it. me of like a like rocker. I don't know, or like the middle, My Chemical Romance or something, <laughs> something like that. Um, hey, they were supposed to come back this year. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. The expo like Elvira. Yeah, that looks so sick. Mm -hmm. That really does look great. Um, okay, I'll move it back to your, whoops, I'll move it back to your screen. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now, now I'm conflicted. This is the first time I'm seeing this. This is the Night Fae. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at the moths. They're so cute. Those are moths? Those are moths. 
What? My my two, accent two, is coming two, out. Two two though. Is that armor? I don't know. Two three. I don't know. In tier three. Transmog sets is what they're called. Could they be backpacks? I think they're on the back. Yep, oh, they're on the back. Oh yeah, that's a thing now. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh. It is cute. What is this? That this is plate. Okay, which is really cool. <laughs> that's mail. Mail looks badass. <laughs> oh my god, leather. I think I'm gonna have to, I think my druid is gonna have to go with this. Oh my god. Cause again, I'm just getting Pan's Labyrinth vibes. Yeah. I really hope I'm right. And you, oh, of course you are. Of course, uh, I wouldn't be surprised oh. that they, you know, took it's, inspiration from that. It's just so cool to like, just geek out with, you know, someone on the art department. Like, we're, yeah. we like the same things. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be so cool if we could have. Uh, That's Oh, I love this. It's gorgeous. Done that. Yeah. It's gorgeous. <sighs> um, but uh, so much, but so yeah. much has been data mined. Here's another covenant. Um, Necro Lords. Wow. Oh, oh my god. Oh yep. no. That looks sick. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> god oh, damn. So cool. I love that skeletal yeah. like cloak. What is this? This Wings. is for male. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh, these are so cool. And this is leather. Whoa, that looks sick. I love the the half metal, half like skull face. Whoa. That's sick. Yeah, that does look really cool. That is sick, especially with the wings for tier two. Damn. That's nuts. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Well, I, f I feel like we could go through this for like hours. Yes, I totally so. can. I mean, like these are my, on honest to God, these are my genuine reactions. Like I've, I've not seen these. This is the first time. Yeah. So. Same. No, yeah. same. I, I mean, there's so much to look at. So it's like, how could you go through all of it in, in one sitting? <laughs> yeah, but, um, but I that's... think, I, I guess we'll, I guess we should move on for now. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Yeah, We totally. spent a lot of time with Shadowlands Alpha. Mm -hmm. um, as we said, let mm -hmm. us know. Like, if you guys want us to explore certain things, you know, I consider it a, a privilege mm -hmm. to have access to the alpha. Oh, and yeah. And I want to make the most out of my, you know, this my access. Um, so, yeah, let us know if there's anything in particular that you would like for us to explore. Oh, yeah. Or check out. That is gorgeous. Yeah, oh my God. right? That is, like, beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. oh my god. Beautiful. Look at the birds. <laughs> um, but yeah, like uh, other than that, um, there's a few things going on with Classic, you know, changing the pace a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, going back to Classic, you know, my, my love. Um, ZG is coming out on Tuesday. No, 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 Wednesday, I'm sorry. ZG's coming out on Wednesday. That's next week already? Next week. That's crazy. April 15th. Zulgarub oh. and the Green Dragons. Which are world bosses, the Dragons of Nightmare, coming out Wednesday, April fifteenth. Which we uh, sat in, in a panel at PAX East, hearing uh, a little bit about those dragons. We did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our friend P Tony Palumbi mm -hmm. did a great presentation at PAX East, and he usually travels around to the PAX conventions and and uh, uh, he headlines, uh, wow panels. If you, if, if you will. Mm. Um, and he did a great presentation this year on Classic WoW. And uh, he spent a significant portion uh, talking about the Green Dragons. Um, I forget which one in particular. I don't know if it's Tayrar or Emerus, but one of them. I forget. Cassandra. Oh, I don't know. You, I don't okay, know. I just wrote a guide on the, on the Green Dragons for WoWhead. Ah, so that, cool. that's how bad I am. No, my, my brain is mush. Um, I really do. I feel like throughout this whole sort of, just this whole historical moment, I feel like my brain is rotting. Yeah, absolutely. Which is really messed up to say, but like, I feel like I'm just gaining so much weight and my brain is rotting. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, the, okay, so the Dragons of Nightmare, here we go. This is the guide that I wrote. Uh, mm -hmm. Emrys, Lethan, Tehrar, and Isandra. I don't know if I said those names correctly, but... Um, this will be available on classic.wowhead.com uh, by the time the, the Green Dragons are released. But um, yeah, you know, I, I did my research. Um, Amorous 
There we go. Is the one oh. with the poison mushrooms. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, That's gonna be fun. It's fun stuff. <laughs> one thing that I didn't know is they all spawn simultaneously. Oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. So Whoa. whenever they spawn, all four of them spawn at once. Oh all scattered goodness. throughout the world. Oh my god. Like there's uh, there's one in Duskwood, there's one in the Hinterlands, there's one in Feralis, and uh, Ashenvale. So whenever it's their time, in all four locations, there is a dragon. Now each dragon isn't tied to a specific location. Like, uh, you know, Lethon could, could spawn in either of those four locations. Like it's random. So uh, things, are, things are about to get really interesting with the world bosses. I know a lot of uh, people have been making warlock alts. And really? uh, so people, yeah, people will make like at least level 20, I think, is the war when warlocks get Ritual of Summoning. Oh. Um, and they park these, these warlocks all throughout the world, <laughs> fill their bags with soul shards so that they could summon. And uh, yeah, if, if the boss is up, summon the raid there. That's nuts. <laughs> it's nutty, yeah. But uh, yeah, so the, the Dragons and Nightmare are coming out. That's exciting. Um, what's also coming out is Zulgarub. As we all know, highly anticipated, uh, highly looking forward to that. Um, it's a catch-up instance, you know, mm. ZG. So if you have a fresh 60, like I do, my mage just got to level 60, um, ZG is a great instance for you because it has a lot of catch-up gear. It's what it's, you know, considered that catch-up instance. So um, all epic quality gear. Um, I would say a lot of the gear is better than MC gear. Um, maybe slightly better than BWL or on par with BWL. It's mm. kind of in between BWL AQ, if you ask me. Interesting. So, yeah. For those of you who uh, may have felt discouraged with Classic, like, you know, you missed out on all the MC gear, you're missing out on BWL gear, ZG could be that new thing for you where you come back into the game and you could uh, get geared up pretty quickly and, and caught up. So, try to find some ZG pugs to join if you're not in a guild. Um, really, really cool, iconic loot from, from ZG, like Zin Rock, Destroyer of Worlds is one of them. Hell yeah. The Two-Handed Sword of Hakar. Uh, we've got the, like, the Twin Blades of the Hakari. Uh, and let's not forget the two mounts from That's ZG. Right. oh my god. We got the ZG Raptor and the Tiger. So, so cool. adding two more mounts to Classic, items of prestige. Items of accomplishment, achievements, if you will, in classic, because achievements don't exist. But <laughs> how how prestigious would it be for you to be, uh, especially Alliance, mm -hmm. for Alliance with the Raptor and Horde for the Tiger, because oh, those man. they normally don't have access to those mounts. How like how cool would it be to see like a gnome on a Raptor? I oh. Or like a like a Torin on a Tiger, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> that's nuts. I can't wait. So. We'll see who, who's going to have the world first raptor. Will the world first raptor and tiger drop this week in ZG? What do you guys think? Hell no. Hell no? Hell no. Uh-uh. So you know some lucky bastard's going to get one of those mounts. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited to hear about that and, uh, you know, see who's it's, who it's going to be. But uh, th those are the big things with Classic coming out. So ZG and Green Dragons. Um... Other than that, you know, I don't have much else to say. Um, I just got my mage to level 60, which has been really, really fun. And I feel like everybody is now making a mage. <laughs> just because they, like, mages are so broken. Like, yes. You, you, the things that mages are doing right now in WoW Classic are just above and beyond ridiculous. Like, solo, like, like pulling Mar the entire instance of Maradon in right. one pull to power level people. It's so stupid. Like the, the gold farming, the Stratholme gold farming, like, like it's, it's ridiculous. So I had to make a mage. And I feel like the timing is, is just right with ZG coming out. Because um, mages could also solo farm in ZG. They could farm the cro crocodiles and that's the right, tigers. That's right. So <sighs> we'll see what happens. That's, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Um, any, any closing remarks? I guess we, we, we covered a lot. No, yeah, just that my family's like trying to call me right now to have a, uh, 
a, a Zoom call for for Easter oh, Sunday. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we I, I think we, we covered I, I covered everything in my my bullet points. They've so. been they've been trying to call me since the beginning of this. I'm like, oh, I no. got more important shit to do. I'm talking about wow. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll we'll have pasta. You know, join her family for Easter and. Um, Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to upload this Monday or Tuesday, but um, this will definitely be out before ZG drops. So, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, we hope you're you guys are all being safe out there, yes. and uh, hope your families and everything like that, family and friends are doing well. Mm -hmm. um, right. Be happy. Be healthy. Be safe. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter, bok bok. Um, what is that? The Cadbury egg. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Bok, bok. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how <laughs> my brain works. I'll just like go off on random tangents like that. Yeah. Okay. But um, may, may the candy be plentiful for you if you celebrate. And if you do not, candy is always, you know, really, really good, especially if it's peeps, <laughs> which I, I, I need to restock on my peeps. I know. I've been it's been hard to them. get out. Yeah. You know? I know. I know. But that's, that's pretty much it. So, uh. You know, I, I wish everyone the best and, and stay tuned for more alpha stuff because it's only going to go up from here. That's right. Well said. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. You could also hit the thumbs up button. And as we said throughout this episode, let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Uh, thank you again for watching. Um, don't forget to follow our live streams on uh, Twitch. Let me uh, transition the scene real quick here. There we go. There's our wow. socials underneath. You can follow me at Quissy TV on Twitch and Twitter. Quissy on YouTube, obviously. And then... I'm the pasta face on uh, Twitch and Twitter. And now I got a couple of uh, streams under my belt, um, which I'm slowly breaking into. It's like, it's really straining on your voice. So... Yeah. As of right now, my second stream, I could only go like about two hours at a time. But, you know, it, it, it's like an exercise. You got to build the muscle. You got to build the strength. Definitely. So. Yeah. Yeah. Your voice can definitely get strained if you're constantly talking and not used to it. So. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I think you're doing great so far. Thank I, I must say. You. You're doing a fantastic job. Oh, thanks. So. <laughs> All right, guys. We are out. We hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Mm. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more classic WoW content. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters for encouraging us to keep up with this content as well. And there are other social links below in the description of this video. I hope you're all being safe out there and have a great day.